When people became Christians in the early church, they were baptized as Jesus had been. This meant that they were dying to their old way of life and being born into a new life. It proclaims that God has made us members of his family. What is the name of this child? Georgian. Georgia Magdalena, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Marin and Valerie Dormancock are one of many young Bulgarian couples that have had their child baptized at Wesley United Church in St. John's, Newfoundland. For this innocent baby, the route to Canadian citizenship has been relatively uneventful. But for her parents, the road has not been so smooth. During the winter of 1990, Newfoundland was swamped with an influx of about 3,000 refugees from Eastern European bloc countries. The financial burden placed on Newfoundland's already weak economy forced provincial politicians to seek aid from Ottawa. The ensuing media coverage of the many heated negotiations stirred some feelings of uncertainty and resentment. Yet Newfoundlanders' innate sense of hospitality prevailed as many opened their hearts to those refugees. Marin and Valerie, like so many Bulgarians, saw Canada as a place where they could provide a better life for their young family. Our life in our country was starting to become really, really frightened by the authorities. And we found maybe two or three weeks before coming here a threatening note on our door concerning the life of our future child. And this was really, really the very reason that we decided that it's high time for us to change our country. And it was really very important for us to save our lives and the life of our future child. Georgia was born at the Grace Hospital in St. John's on March 11, 1990. Valerie and Marin were happy with the prospect of being able to have their baby baptized. A social worker at the hospital contacted Reverend Elliot at Wesley United Church, and so began that church's involvement with Bulgarian refugees. We baptized several children of different ages um, among the Bulgarian refugees, but um, there was a tremendous sense of excitement among the Bulgarian refugees at having their children baptized in an atmosphere of political and religious freedom uh, here in Canada. We are God's children, all of us, and my daughter too. That was the reason we wanted to be baptized. And as a mother, I could say that at the time that I was a child, uh, baptism, baptizing, sorry, um, children in our country was forbidden. And going to the church was forbidden as well. And uh, me, as a child, was, uh, I was not baptized. And uh, I wanted, coming here, to have my baby, which is only natural thing. And uh, in this way, to be involved some way in uh, the normal Canadian style of life. When uh, Valerie and uh, Marin had Georgia baptized, uh, we uh, invited them up to, uh, to lunch, up to our house uh, after the baptism. And uh, since then, we've been back and forth, uh, you know, see, checking on them, see if they need anything, and uh, see if uh, what we could do to help them in any way. How are you? How are you? You still play with Georgia. You have so many grandchildren at home. This is the plan that we brought them to Georgia. Every time you're surprising me with something new. Any time. The Bulgarian situation presented a, a, I know my own self with a, an opportunity to, uh, to reach out to, to people uh, outside of, uh, say, my own uh, uh, people. Also, it makes us appreciate the freedom that we have here. Bye-bye. 
Like so many Bulgarian refugees, the Dormenkovs bring with them a wealth of skills, talent, and ingenuity that augurs well for Canada. It was Valerie's ingenuity that helped her obtain work as a legal assistant with the law firm of Kendall and Crosby. For Marin, an internationally successful graphic artist, Canada represents an opportunity for greater artistic freedom. Everything that is connected with artistism, actors' work, musicians' work, painters' work, is connected with censorship in my country. And as an artistic man, I need a lot of freedom. Freedom to tell, freedom to show, even freedom to answer. And I think in this country I will find the, play, the real place for me. I think that uh, Marin and Valerie are examples of the fact that the Bulgarian immigrants, refugees, are a group of people, uh, most of them, having something very valuable to offer to our society. They're, they have, they're people with get up and go, hard working, who want to make an investment of themselves into building something here. The people who stayed, I think, stayed basically because of the network of friendships and personal contacts that they had made within our congregation and within the city. They feel a very warm attachment to our people, and our people have a very strong attachment to them. They are very much a part of us now. But whether or not the Dormenkoffs will be around long enough to cement their new friendships depends on their claim for refugee status, which is still before the Canadian Immigration Board.